So giving an example of a one-dimensional vector, so you could take the number line for example. So if you were to draw a vector from 0 to 4, you could think of that as the vector plus 4, as you're going 4 units, which is the length, and you're going in the positive direction, so it's plus 4. Okay, so then drawing a negative vector, if you were to start at 0 and go to minus 4, you could think of that as being the vector minus 4, as again, it has a length of 4, but it's going in the negative direction. So if you look at a negative vector compared to a positive vector, both vectors have the same length, they both have a length of 4, they're both parallel to each other, but they just have opposite direction. So that would be a negative vector. So to add one dimensional vectors, so here we have the vector plus 4 and the vector plus 2. Now if you wanted to add these two vectors together, well what you can do is you can move this vector plus 2 so that the start of the vector begins at the end of the plus 4 vector. So what you do is you place the start of the plus 2 at the end of the plus 4 and then you just add the 2 together. Now the important thing is you can't change the direction or the length of the plus 2 vector but you can just change its position from here to there. So overall you end up with the vector plus 6. So adding in the one dimensional is just like adding numbers really.